So now Blaster players, uh, they started with recovery, okay, doing recovery for uh, the next game that we have against uh, Mozambique. Okay, so Mozambique head coach, you know, he has started talking and uh, he also uh, started, you know, uh, talking about the Black Stars game that they are preparing to come and play against. Okay, so I'll be sharing with you the interview he did and uh, what he said in that very game i'll be sharing with you on this very channel okay so as usual don't forget that the blasters also are in the competition we are in the competition that we are playing uh, very hard we are playing very strong and uh, we hope that we'll be able to go far in this tournament and the calculation is still on we have been calculating since 1958 anytime gonna go to afcon we have to calculate 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 so uh, so we could see we know we see we know we could do you know he say uh, and send it to me every new question so we'll be doing that so uh, but let's see how this time around it will go okay so before we talk about uh, an, uh mozambique head coach what he said and other stories don't forget that this is your normal youtube channel kindly subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell share this video to your friends like and also comment and uh share it to your friends we are on facebook is bedu tv we are on instagram is bedu tv we are on tiktok is bedu tv6 follow us there we've been posting uh more and more and more content on tiktok and also everything that you need to know on tiktok so kindly also subscribe to the channel and uh, share it to your friends as well okay so most importantly let's talk about this one here okay so you know let me tell you about ghana and some errors that are happening in the ghana's matches okay so you know in the ongoing african cup of nations uh players and also uh, let me say the errors are leading to go in uh the afcon so far okay you know the errors the player will have a ball he'll not pass on time maybe he'll pass to the opponent mistakenly then they'll go and score he will kick the ball and mistakenly they will the opponent will take it and go and score okay so errors are leading to uh go uh ghana we have three players in it in the whole competition in the whole 24 uh nations in ghana there were three players i will on my committee error lead to go so mohammed salis who yeah he has committed one and inaki william also has committed one osman bukai has committed one so these are the three players and there's only five players you know who have done that in the competition and so uh oliviera uh no kwame na okay olivera kwame na he played for that is uh, uh no uh, cameroon okay olivera kwame na he played in cameroon na national team okay that's in the in the top of uh cameroon okay so he has done one then also another one player uh, who played for mozambique that's uh, uh a running okay he also has done so these are the five players that are also in the uh premier league no not the they are in the uh afcon okay who have committed errors leading to go so it's five players five players you know uh five players three are Ghanaians, two uh no outside one is uh that is uh cameroon and also one is uh that's a mozambique we are playing at this guy when we play against the mozambique big player he will commit more 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 mistakes so that we're gonna all get uh more chances to to score in, in that game okay so that is it so ghana as i told you earlier on ghana they started recovery and they did recovery uh that is yesterday now uh, being friday the recovery uh, ahead of as uh, a monday uh evening march 8 p.m uh no it we're gonna play against mozambique that same time uh Kevet also be playing against egypt in that tournament okay so that is what uh, you should know uh for now so that is it uh so during the uh recovery we saw the black stars doing very shake up passing the ball around moving and also trying to put everything together so kulis mohammed is uh, fully fit now you watch him playing the you know the game against uh, egypt scoring two goals and now let's see that if uh, he'll be also be available to uh play the next one okay because injury can happen anytime okay so you know mohammed salah also pick up an injury okay and uh we are yet to know the extent of the injury uh for mohammed salah as a stance now but let's see if salah will be able to play against uh that's a cape Verde. okay no ghana our prayer is that uh cape Verde will win that game so that when ghana win 
against uh, the team called Mozambique, then we don't need to be a uh, part of the, that. Uh, no, uh, three best place teams. You know, we want to just qualify straight up, straight up, so that we move ahead. Okay. So, uh, now let let me uh give you the opportunity. Let me allow you to listen in and uh, listen to that is the Mozambique head coach what he said about the Ghana game. Okay, even though he said that it's going to be a very big game, it's going to be a very tough uh game, but all the same. He said it's going to be a big game, but they are going to prepare very hard for the game. They are going to uh, do everything possible to make sure that they get the needed win against Ghana so that they can be able to uh, also you now qualify for the next one. So because, you know, this one, everyone can qualify. Everyone can qualify. So that is uh, something you should also uh, take note. Okay. So we, we hope that we'll be able to win uh, against Mozambique take the three points and move to the next one okay to the next round of the competition so let's see how things will go so listen to mozambique uh, head coach and after then uh, don't forget to share the video to your friends and also you subscribe and also you do well to follow us on facebook is bedu tv instagram is bedu tv tiktok is bedu tv6 so uh thank you very much for always being part of this wonderful journey and also don't forget subscribe to the channel okay now let's uh, meet another time this is the you know update from the african cup of nations concerning black stars uh players and also the group b matches that is coming on monday even 8 pm so all eyes on monday 8 pm ghana time let's see if ghana will be able to do that come back and win and also qualify for the next round let's meet another time thank you god bless you bye bye for now bye uh, i work with joy fm in ghana um i would appreciate if you answer the question in english uh, how would you describe that last group game that you were playing against ghana i said that um, Ghana was um, a little bit uh, disappointed uh, with the outcome of their last uh, match which was a draw so I think um, the Ghana team uh, could maybe win and score the points and be uh, classified as second in the group so we need to be responsible in our actions for the next match and i wish uh, good luck to uh, all of the players uh, this is quite a home for ghana as a neighboring country so we know that uh, this will be a difficult uh, uh, match